how's it going? So today we will be looking at another interesting dive site in the Darwin area. So now we're flying in and that dive site is the artificial reef in front of the former El Dorado resort. You can dive this as a beach dive. You can just walk to the left when you're diving from Sea Explorers Darwin. You can use this Luca access road or of course you can go by boat. Now, what's there to see? So obviously this is me looking around. There are a couple of really interesting things and there's an artificial reef. But on the way to the artificial reef, there is a seagrass area and seagrass is really one of the most underappreciated habitats underwater. So this is a manila puffer, which is having a good time here looking for edibles in the sand. But you know, often you will find ghost pipefish, interesting crustaceans, other pipefish, seahorses, all kinds of good stuff. So this is on the way to the artificial reef. Now this is how the artificial reef looks. There are these odd cages and I think they were put there in the 90s by an NGO. And these cages, are they start in about 16 meters. There's one big one at 16, one at about 20 meters. They are probably about two and a half meters high and you can't get inside. So these grids are too narrow for an average person to fit through. Now, a lot of stuff has actually grown on that. You can see some hard corals, sponges, soft corals, and these are you know, odd structures. Typically, a marine biologist would not recommend uh, making something like this, but they're very successful as fish aggregation devices. So, in contrast to the other muck diving sites, the fish biomass in Darwin is, is really much higher here and also the fish biodiversity is quite here so sometimes when you look inside you would find large groupers or there is a large map puffer so these are curious structures which are really making this, uh, this highly interesting dive site so you, you can see interesting rests here lots of damselfish as i mentioned very large groupers you know, probably a meter and a half lots of sweet lips different butterfly fish this is a site with uh it, there's a nice rest here again this is a site where you can see a lot of fish biodiversity and also mid-sized and larger fish and you can see schools of fish so this is really the main attraction here so then there are these two large cages and next to them the more artificial reef structures and there are these so-called reef balls and which are these concrete balls with holes and then these odd pyramids made out of metal and there is a lot of very good macro life on these too so um, you know different types of butterfly fish as you can see here they're hiding in between so this is a sanctuary and so the fish are not very shy the fish will let you approach them quite closely. Lots of good invertebrates, you see the screen on the top. This is an excellent, excellent night diving site. And a lot of stuff which is hiding in these crevices, you know, in between these artificial reef structures is coming out. And particularly there are two very large basking stars or these Gorgonian heads, which are essentially the echinoderms. They are uh, brittle stars, but they're much larger than regular brittle stars and they have these uh, thousands of branched arms and you know they they bundle up during the day at night they come up they they unroll all of the arms these are fascinating animals which you actually don't see the all that often so this is a highly recommended night diving site on the way back there are a few structures which are natural reefs so this is only about so the more artificial reefs here and the natural reefs too this some of the, uh, these structures are only in about 10 meters of water typically there's not a lot of current here there, it's a sanctuary so there's no boat traffic this is a, a very easy dive highly recommended if you want to see all kinds of different fish in Darwin now hope you enjoyed this hope this was useful like, subscribe, leave a comment, support the channel, share this on your social media and see you soon.